We are so excited to be here today and to be able to uh, start the process of organizing all of the program partnerships that are going to energize the Cabarrus Center for Innovation and Entrepreneurship. Um, so I want to tell you a little bit about what we do, why we do it, and how we do it. Uh, starting with what we do, we design and operate co-working innovation centers, and that means that there's a tangible place for entrepreneurs to come uh, participate in events, uh, have offices, participate in our co-working environments, and enjoy uh, all of the co-located uh, entrepreneurship programs that we will have at the Cabrera Center. It's going to be located at 57 Union Street South in downtown Concord, 20,000 square feet of office suites, co-working environments, event space, and meeting rooms that are available not only for our members' use, but for that of the general community. So this center will be part of a network that Flywheel is in the process of building out. Um, and our mission is to create a uh, three-state footprint and a, a network of at least 10 innovation centers by 2025. Uh, and we're really thrilled to have the Cabarrus Center join us as our third location on the map. We started in Winston-Salem, uh, so these are uh, photographs of the work environments that we provide and the event spaces and so forth. Uh, we uh, started in Winston-Salem in partnership with Wake Forest University and the Innovation Quarter, which is a very large innovation district development in downtown Winston-Salem. We were then invited to test our business model uh, with Davidson College, and we were thrilled to be invited by Davidson College to design and operate the hub facility uh, in downtown Davidson, which was our second location and, and offered the opportunity for us to, to validate that what our business model is all about was actually effective and working extremely well. So the Cabarrus Center is uh, is going to be located at 57 Union, and I'm going to quickly show you some uh, minuscule floor plans that hopefully you'll be able to see a little bit of the detail of. But we have visual callouts using renderings of some of the key spaces that we'll be offering in the environment. So this shot is of the social commons environment. This is the space that's uh, adjacent to the main entry to the 57 South building that everyone will come through. And one thing we've learned in designing these innovation centers is you want, you want to design for serendipitous interactions. And by having this space right off the main entry and adjacent to Danielle's space as the community manager, we're able to uh, create uh, these unplanned interactions that are so important to innovation activity. And then uh, in addition to that, we will have a large event space that can seat 50 at tables and close to 100 auditorium style. And this is really the heartbeat of the Innovation Center. This is where the majority of our larger programs are going to be executed, whether it's an accelerator, a workshop, a seminar, uh, a lot of which you'll be hearing about by the program partners that follow me today. And then most importantly, obviously, is providing a home not only for our, some of our program partners, so the, the economic development officials, the chamber, and uh, the small business center are all taking spaces within the innovation center. But we've got lots of office suites, lots of co-working areas, and uh, community environments that entrepreneurs in Cabarrus County can use as members of Flywheel. It's almost like a YMCA for working, and uh, we have a variety of membership plans that you can check out on the Cabrera Center website or on the Flywheel website. So uh, the, the reason we do it, so let's talk about why we do what we do. We're interested in actually creating economic development throughput uh, in a, by creating organically the opportunity for companies to form grow and succeed using the resources of our innovation centers. And this slide shows you some of the, some of the uh, results that we've gotten already with our first two locations. Now we're expanding to serving multiple markets 
and uh, we're on target for our 2020 projections. So what we're about, it's, it's not the space, it's not the infrastructure, it's what happens in the space. It's about the people and the community that we curate and cultivate to support entrepreneurship in the, in the communities that we serve. We do it through a playbook uh, that we've refined and our business model is to focus on smaller markets, not the huge markets like New York, San Francisco, Austin, Texas, which are known as very large tech hubs, but to, but to focus on smaller markets where there's an opportunity to co-locate everyone that's interested in entrepreneurship into an innovation center and create these kind of uh, uh, job creation and company creation activities. So we've refined this into an actual operational model that we can deliver quickly to a community such as uh, Concord and the Cabarrus County and we're just thrilled to have the opportunity to come, come and serve. We also have a foundation. It's a 501c3 nonprofit, which means it has a charitable purpose. And the mission of our foundation is to promote uh, universal access and, and diverse opportunity to enter the entrepreneurship pipeline. Our foundation underwrites the majority of the programming that we offer. And our foundation will also be offering micro grant programs and other uh, means for entrepreneurs in Cabarrus County to uh, enter the capital stack to get uh, grant based and uh, private equity based investment capital access so that they can get their ideas off the ground and get them into growth stage. The way we do this, essentially what we've discovered is, is a formula that works really well in communities like uh, Cabarrus County, and that is to co-locate program partners, stimulate ideation with a variety of educational curriculum and event activities, develop structured development through mentor networks, accelerator programs, and many of the resources that you're going to be hearing about shortly and then provide access to capital, whether it's uh, dilutive or non-dilutive, it's really important to have capital access for these entrepreneurs to get their ideas off the ground. We will be bringing that to the community in the form of our new ventures program, and we will also be bringing it to the community in conjunction with our program partners. So uh, I'm pleased to announce today that Flywheel is gonna be offering a micro-grant program uh, we're going to provide details on this at the next event, at our October event, but essentially we're going to be offering five $5,000 micro-grant programs to early stage entrepreneurs that are pretty much at the idea stage that want to get their ideas off the ground. As a prerequisite for um, applying for the micro-grant program, we're offering two of our courses uh, out of our larger suite of course curriculum. Uh, the first being how to find your startup, which is a course that's all about ideation, and the second being uh, lean startup practices, which is a curriculum that helps entrepreneurs get from idea to repeatable revenue as quickly as possible and with a minimum deployment of resources. So that's all I wanted to really uh, talk about today, and without further ado, I want to invite our next speaker up, and Danielle is going to make the introduction. Thank you, Danielle.